while we're teaching the Bible, give me Isaiah 46 and 10. Start at verse 9. Isaiah chapter 46 and 9. The things you see right here on these signs, did these things happen? Are these historical facts? I said, are they timeline? Well, who cares about timeline? Are these things, did these things happen? Were people in slavery? Did people come over to this land and take over a land of, of people that was already here? Those things happen, right? So let me ask you this. Is this Bible a true book? Do you believe in the Bible? So the Bible is a false book. Is it a false book or is it a true book? It's science fiction. That's meaning that's what you're saying. You're saying science fiction, but what you're saying is that the Bible is false. Is it is it real or is it fake? Okay, so you're saying it's fake. Read what you got. Isaiah chapter 46, verse 9. Remember the former things of old. So the Bible says, remember the former things of old. Read. For I am God, and there is none else. So he said, the, Bi the Bible, he says, I am God, and there is none else. Meaning this Bible is the only authority on this earth. Read. I am God, and there is none like me. There he's God, and there's none like him. Meaning God is able to preserve his book for his people. Read. Declaring the end from the beginning. Declaring the end. Pay attention. Pay attention. Don't listen. Pay. He said, read it again. Declaring the end from the beginning. Well, he said what? Declaring the end from the beginning. So from the beginning, the Most High God declared the end. He declared what was going to happen to us during the end times. Read. And from ancient times, things that are not yet done. From ancient times, things that are not yet done. Meaning, he declared prophecies in the Bible. That we, we can look in the Bible and say, hey, that's happening right now. That's happening today. That happened to us. Read. Say, my counsel shall stand. He said, my counsel shall stand. The things that's meaning, the things that's written in this Bible is going to stand. Read. And I will do all my pleasure. He said, I will do all my pleasure. Everything I read is going to have come to pass. That's what the Most High God said. Zechariah 11 and 5. Listen to this. Stop talking and listen. Stop talking and listen. Listen up. Listen up. Don't respond because this is going to throw you off. My brother, you believe in the Bible? Listen to this. Read that. Zechariah chapter 11 and verse 5. Whose oppressors slay them. Who is, who is being oppressed in this in America? In, in the city of Chicago, the black people. Who's been oppressed here? Who's been oppressed here? Huh? No, I'm saying who's, who's been oppressed in the city of Chicago? Just about everybody? So in Chinatown, they've been oppressed? Do China, do, so let me ask you this. Do do, do the Chinese people have a Laquan McDonald? Laquan McDonald. You ever heard of anybody, a, a, a white man being shot down by the police for doing nothing? How often does it happen to the so-called black man? Every day. Read that again. Whose oppressors slay them? And when it happens to the black man, what happens to the cop? Nothing. He get death duty. He still get paid. Read it again. Whose oppressors slay them? Whose oppressors slay them? And, and do what? hold themselves not guilty. And hold themselves not guilty. This was written way before us, but we see it happening to the so-called black man today. That's right. Read. And hold themselves not guilty. And they that sell them say, "Blessed be the Lord." And then they say, "Blessed be the Lord." They go pray to they white Jesus. They go to church. They get a GoFundMe saying, hey, you should feel sorry for him because whatever the reason. And they get funds raised for him. That's in the Bible. That's, that's, show, that's facts. That's a prophecy that we see happening today. Right? Isaiah 51 and 20. Listen up. Listen up. Because we out here to edify our people. If you don't believe this Bible, you can go. We out here to teach our people. If you don't believe, bye. Isaiah 51 and 20. Isaiah chapter 51 verse 20. 
Thy sons have fainted. So the Bible says, Thy sons have fainted. When you read the Bible, the sons of God are the Israelites. So That's he said right. that the sons have fainted. What happens when you faint? What happens when you faint? What happens when you faint? You lose consciousness. So it's the Bible that's saying that sons have fainted. The Israelites have fainted. They haven't physically fainted, but the Israelites don't know who they are. That's right. We are lost. Read. Thy sons have fainted. Uh -huh. They lie at the head of all the streets. They lie at the head of all the streets. What's the head of the streets? Huh? The corners. Who's standing on the corners and throughout the neighborhoods? Blacks. Exactly. Oh, okay, okay. Read. That's, a, that's another that's another thing that you can attest to that's happening today and it's in the Bible. They're declaring from the beginning things that's gonna happen in the end. Read. As a wild bull in a net. As a wild bull in a net. Who's shooting people down in the streets today? Who jumping out of cars, spraying the ground and shooting babies? Who doing that? So, read that again. As wild bulls in a net. What happens if you put a wild, a, a, net, a net over a bull? You're going to go crazy. What's going on with our young men in the streets today? they going crazy. Another Bible prophecy. Read. They are full of the fury of the Lord. They are full of the fury of the Lord. Do y'all know what that means? It says they are full of the fury of the Lord. They said they are full of the fury of the Lord. What does that mean? Meaning the curses consume our people. Read. The rebuke of thy God. The rebuke of thy God. Isaiah 42 and 22. Because we, the, the Bible, remember the Bible said he declared the end from the beginning. We just read two scriptures that pinpoint us exactly. But the Bible not a true book. Read. Read. Isaiah chapter 42. Verse 22, Bring it but out. this is a people robbed and spoiled. This is a people robbed and spoiled. Who robbed and spoiled today? Who at the bottom of, I don't care where you go, you in Chicago, Detroit, wherever you go, who's at the bottom economically, physically, mentally? We get the lowest of everything, spiritually, because we in, we, in we in the midst of every doctrine there is. We're the only people that serve a God that don't look like us. Right. Read that again. But this is a people robbed and spoiled. The people robbed and spoiled. We robbed of our nationality. We, how, how, how do our, uh, uh, our nationality change every 10 years? How one minute, one minute we calling ourselves colored, then we calling ourselves Negro, then we saying Afro-American, then African-American, but but you go, you go ask a, a so-called white man, he gonna hey, my, my grandparents are from German, Germany, they from Italy. Right. He gonna know. You go ask a Chinese man, he gonna know his history. But us, we don't know our history past slavery. Right. Bring it up. But this is a, this is not this is a, a fake book. Read. They are all of them snared in holes. They are all of them snared in holes. Y'all know what them holes are? Read it. Read. They are all of them snared in holes. And they are hid in prison houses. They are snared in holes and hid in prison houses. So a hole is like you have you ever seen they, like like little uh, cartoons. They dig a hole and then they cover it with leaves and then somebody walk past and fall in it. Who is in the trap like that? That's talking about us. It's talking about us now. Whenever, whenever we, uh, us being on the face of this earth, forever. Since we broke God's commandments, this is us. That's right. We snared in prison houses, yes. About it, the thing about it, a lot of us grew up in Christianity, we grew up in these religions. Let me, why, why wasn't we allowed to read while we was in slavery? Where did you ever, you ever heard of a slave Bible? What did they have in that slave Bible? They didn't have a whole Bible in there, right? They had they had bits and pieces of the Bible. That lets you know why would they 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 have us in slavery? They don't want us to read, and then they have a slave Bible. They got bits and pieces of scripture. What are they trying to keep us from reading? Why they don't want us to read the Bible? Don't, don't you see a problem with that? 
Read that. So, chapter 69, verse 22. Let their table become a snare before let, them. It said, let their table become a snare before them. What's our table? What's the Israelites' table? God's laws. And our, our law, the laws are contained in the Bible. So it says, read it again. Let their table become a snare before them. Let their them. table become a snare before them. So that's what happened when, when the so-called white man came over here to the shores, came over here to America and conquered the Indians that was already here. They came to them with white Jesus. They put the, what is, what that picture at? They came over here with the, with the cross and forced them into their version of Christianity. They, they forced them into what they interpreted the Bible to mean. Then they came and took us from the west coast of Africa, brought us over here, and did the same thing. Right. And then they used our records against us. That's let that table become a snare. Because everything they taught us is not in the Bible. Everything they taught us is not in the Bible. Everything that you're saying is not in the Bible. Everything you're saying is not in the Bible. But everything that we've showed you thus far in the Bible is happening today. That's right. Why, 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 is, the book why is that? Isaiah 34 and 16. Isaiah 34 and 16. No. They didn't create the Bible. Isaiah 34 and 16. The book of Isaiah. You say those things because you don't believe in God. Isaiah 34 and 16. Isaiah 34 and 16. Or you don't believe in a higher power. You say those, that's why you say those things. Read. Seek ye out of the book of the Lord and read. So the Bible tells us, seek ye out of the book of the Lord and read. This is the Bible. Read. No How you quote the scriptures but you don't believe the Bible? Read. No one of these shall fail. No one of these shall fail. Meaning the prophecies that's in the Bible, the plagues, the COVID-19, all of the things that's going on in the world, you can find it in the Bible. That's right. Bring it out. Read. None shall want her mate. None shall want her mate. You can't make the Quran with the Bible. You can't make the Book of Mormon with the Bible. The Book of the Dead. The Book of Enoch. You can't make no book with the Bible because it's not necessary. All you need is the Bible. That's All you need is the collection of books that we have. And it's, it's what, what's the purpose of it? We're going to get that. Read. For my mouth it have commanded. Uh-huh. And his spirit it have gathered them. The Most High God is... a. The Most High God created the universe. You don't think he has the power to preserve his book for his people in the days of today when we when we know we have direction and know where we need to be? That's right. Come on, man, read. For my mouth it has commanded. It said my mouth it has commanded. The commandments are in the Bible. The prophecies are in the Bible. The testimonies of God are in the Bible. Read. And his spirit has gathered them. And his spirit has gathered them. So the Most High God gathered these books that we have today together so that we have a way to get to the kingdom. We, so we have, uh, we have direction on what we need to do to get our minds right so we can get out of the conditions that we're in. So that we can keep our, so we can keep our lives. Say it again. We have 80 books. It don't matter because what I have, we have what we need to get the kingdom of God. So when, when the black messiah crack that sky and come and bring destruction to this earth, we have what we need so that he can preserve our lives. All we need is the commandment. All we need is the commandment. The white man didn't create this Bible. Revelation 2. Revelation chapter 2, verse 25. But that which ye have already. That which ye have already. The 80 books in the Bible. The Old Testament, the New Testament, and the Apocrypha. Read. Hold fast till I come. Hold fast till I come. Why? Because it contains the commandments of God. It That's contains right. the history of the Israelites. It shows us who we are. The Read. King James Version Bible that has 80 books has everything that we need to get the kingdom. That's what that's what you're missing. Did you grow up in Christianity when you was you grew up? That's the problem. That's the problem. That's the problem because you've seen a whole bunch of hypocrisy. So the hypocrisy of men turns you away from the word of God. Right. No. King James was not a pedophile. King James was a pedophile. So so he and he wrote the Bible. He, he, 
So if he was a pedophile, if he was, if he was gay, whatever you want, when you think, do you think that he would want the people to know that the Bible speaks against that? But that's a commandment. Man shall not lay with mankind as he lies. That's that's a commandment. Read what you got. Deuteronomy 28 verse 46. And they shall be upon thee for a son. It says they shall be upon thee. The day is talking about the curses that's written in Deuteronomy 28. He says the curses shall be upon You said maybe. Read, read verse 15. Just read verse 15 so we can just be clear. It's not my interpretation. It's what the Bible says. Just read it. Read it. Deuteronomy 28 verse 15. But it shall come to pass. But it shall come to pass. Read. If thou would not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. He says, if thou, if thou will not hearken. Who is that thou? Who is the thou? Who wrote Deuteronomy? Who wrote Deuteronomy? You don't know who wrote Deuteronomy? You said you was a minister. They sent you to cemetery school? Did you read the Bible? Did you read Did you read the Bible when you was in Christianity? You had to and you don't know who wrote the book of Deuteronomy? So you didn't read, how, how was you reading that? So that just lets me know that in Christianity, you didn't learn nothing. Right. I know you're not a Christian, but I'm, but I'm, but I'm saying, we know we are we not pushing white Jesus. Right. What, what, what I'm pointing out, what I'm pointing out is you said you were in Christianity. I know you're not in Christianity right now. You said you were in Christianity, but you left it. How long were you in Christianity? So 14 years you were in Christianity, and you didn't learn, they didn't teach you who wrote the book of Deuteronomy. That's right there is a problem. Because I was in Christianity for seven years going myself intentionally and I didn't learn those things I learned more my seven years being under this understanding than I did seven years in the Christian church and from an upbringing up my grandmother doing it and all that that lets me know that they wasn't doing what the Bible say right so read that no I want you to I want you to listen to this read Deuteronomy 1 and 1 or 20 just go to 27 and 1 so we can find out who the author of the book of Deuteronomy is Deuteronomy chapter 27 verse 1. Uh -huh. And Moses with the elders of Israel. So Moses with the elders of Israel, read. Commanded the people, saying. He commanded the people, read. Keep all the commandments which I command thee, which I command you this day. So Moses wrote the book of Deuteronomy to the Israelites, read. Deuteronomy 28 verse 15. But it shall come to pass. So it shall come to pass, meaning it's something going to happen in the future, read. If thou would not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. So if, if that if thou is that if the Israelites will not listen to the voice of the Lord God, read. To do all his to observe to do all his commandments. To observe to do his commandments. Meaning we study the Bible and apply the commandments. If we didn't do those things, what happened? And the statue, which I command thee this day, uh -huh. that all these curses. All these curses. Will do what? Shall come upon thee and overtake thee. Curses will come upon the Israelites. So, like I said, according to what the Bible said, the curses come on the Israelites because they broke God's commandments. Back to 46. Deuteronomy 28, verse 46. And they shall be upon thee. So that they is referring back to verse 15 when it say the curses. The curses are on the Israelites. Why? For a sign. For a sign. How do we know where we at right now? By the sign. We on 79th and Lafayette. So what's the purpose of a sign? It's to identify. So read that again. And they shall be upon thee for a sign. So in layman terms, the curses are on the Israelites to show who they are today in these last days. That's right. Read. And for a wonder. And for a wonder. So when you see these curses, when you see a people that, that murder and rob each other. The murder and rob their brother look just like them. That's a wonder. When the nations when the nations see us, they wonder like why do they treat each other like that? Why do they treat their women so so bogus? 
Why they why they music? They they call they women bees and hoes. They degrade themselves. That's a wonder. That's a phenomenon. Read. And a prayer thy seed forever. And these curses will be on the children of Israel, the generations of Israel, which is the seed forever. As long as we break in the commandments, you're going to see these curses. Back up to 16. Verse 16. Cursed shall thou be in the city. So one of the curses. Cursed shall thou be in the city. Who cursed in the city of Chicago? Who living at the bottom? How you doing, my sister? What's your name? <laughs> Tiffany. Who's who's in the worst conditions in Chicago? Black people. Black people. Bring it out. Read that again. Curse shall thou be in the city. So, curse shall thou be in the city. That's a sign of who the Israelites are, because we curse in the city. And somebody might say, I think I think somebody, a brother said it earlier, where everybody in bad conditions. Everybody going get Daniel chapter nine. As, uh, somebody might say that. Well, everybody, you know, you got the white boys. They in they in the uh, trailer parks. They, everybody got to pull up among their people. But ha is, it, is anybody going through the things that we go through? Not like us. Nobody. Nobody. Why? Because we are the children of Israel. Just that's like a son right. disciplined his father, that's what's going on with the nation of Israel. That's we are right. being disciplined because we broke God's commandments. Right. In other words, because we are disobedient to the rules he set forth for us. Read. Daniel chapter 9 verse 11. Bring it out. Yay. All Israel have transgressed thy law. All Israel has transgressed God's law. The blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, all of us have broke God's commandments. Read. Even by the pardon. Even by the pardon. We turned our back on this Bible. Even so much so that we go to church and trust in what a man say. A, a man, a pastor, a teacher, whatever you want to call them. They have put one scripture and teach a four-hour sermon on it. It's just a motivational speech. And they taught you one commandment. Read. That they might not obey thy voice. That they might not obey thy voice. That's what the Israelites do. We want to we want to hear what's good to our ears. We want to hear that feel good. We don't want nobody telling us, nah, bro, you wrong. You did, you did, you know, we don't any anytime somebody give us constructive criticism, we get mad. And walk, well, you can't judge me. That's Israel. And that's what the that's the, that's this is us right here. Read. Therefore the curse is poured upon us. It says, therefore the curse is poured upon us. What well, we just read in Deuteronomy 28 and 15. Cursed shalt thou be in the city. The curse is poured upon us. Read. And the oath that is written in the law of Moses. The law of Moses referring right back to Deuteronomy 28 and Leviticus 26. Read. The servant of God. Because we have sinned against him. Because we have sinned against our God. Meaning we broke his commandments. Read. And he has confirmed his words. It says he confirmed his word by, hey, if you don't want to obey my commandments, I'm going to send you in captivity. If you don't obey my commandments, I'm going to cause yokes of iron to be put on your neck. If you don't obey my commandments, I'm going to cause you to go on, go to slavery on ships. I'm going to cause you to be in your own land and some, I'm going to send some people over there that you don't know, you don't understand their language, they'll come over there and conquer your land and take all your, and kill your cattle, kill your bulls. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road. Purple and gold from Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how we're men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.